Hello, my name is Jeffrey Way, and I am here to teach you Laravel. You're going to love it. So we will visit Laravel.com, and we'll switch to the documentation to figure out how to install it on our machine. Now, of course, it goes without saying, if you're going to use Laravel, it's a PHP framework. You need to have some kind of PHP setup installed on your machine. I would consider that a basic prerequisite for this series. So if you don't know that, then you might not be ready for this series yet. Figure out how to do that, figure out the, the basics, the fundamentals of PHP, and then you'll be ready for this. Okay, so that being said, uh, we will require at least PHP 5.6, and very likely you already have that on your machine. You'll see that I will be using PHP 7.1 in this series. Next, Laravel depends upon Composer. Now, if you're not familiar with Composer, yeah, some people who maybe worked with PHP a long time ago and are then coming back get a little overwhelmed. But trust me, Composer is your best friend. It's a basic dependency manager. So as you build projects, you will want to pull in things, such as Laravel. But even beyond that, maybe you want to pull in a testing tool. Well, in the past, you would go to a website, find the download link, and it would pull down a zip file. Eh, not overly great. You have to manually manage the dependencies, and you have to do this for every single thing you require. With Composer, the entire process is streamlined. So let's go ahead and download it. And here we go. So I'm just going to copy this, switch over to my terminal, and paste it all in. Okay, you'll see that's downloading now. But next, I will switch to the Getting Started Guide, and I'd like this available globally, which means anywhere in my system I can reference Composer. So take a look at the Windows guide if you're on Windows, but I will be using the Mac. And we can see here that all we have to do is move the composer.far file to our bin directory. So let's take a look. You'll see that right now, composer.far is in my current directory. I'm going to move that to my user local bin directory, and I will reference it as composer. Okay, let's run that. And we're all set. So if I open a new tab now and type composer, we have it. Good job. Now, you'll see all of these commands, and it can kind of overwhelm you. Do not worry. In reality, most PHP developers who use this every day maybe reference a few of these. Okay, so with that installed, we can switch back to Laravel, and we can see that, well, we have a couple choices. We can install a installer tool, and this is a simple executable that allows you to do things like this. Laravel new app. And what that's going to do is download a fresh copy of Laravel. And that's what I prefer. However, we could also use Composer Create Project for this. Composer, I want to create a project using the Laravel slash Laravel GitHub repository. And I'm going to name the project blog. So you could paste that in and run it. However, like I said, Laravel new blog, that's really nice to use. So let's get that installed on our machine. You'll see that we're going to install this through Composer but we're going to make it globally accessible. So we add the global flag. And you'll find with Composer, this is generally the shape it'll take. Composer, require, and then you type in the package that you need. And further, to research, you can visit packages.org and browse around for what you need. For example, there's a popular tool called Carbon, which makes the process of working with and formatting dates really easy. We can see that right here. So. Yes, I can review how to use it on the GitHub repository, but I can also run composer require to pull this into my project immediately. It's really great. Anyways, now that we've installed it globally, you'll see a little note here. Make sure to place this directory path within our system path so that the Laravel executable can be located. Okay, so for your machine, this will be a little unique based upon Windows or Mac. Windows users, just do a quick Google search and you'll be all set. On the Mac, you're going to, using whatever editor you prefer, I'll just use Vim, you will want to either open your bashrc file, and I will say export path equals, and we'll paste this in. However, I don't want to overwrite whatever was already in my path, my system path. So we can use a colon, and then use this dollar sign path variable to represent everything else. So I'm going to add composer's vendor bin directory to my path, as well as, separated by a colon, anything else that I require. And that should do it. However, in my case, I happen to use something called Zshell. And if you're familiar with that, you would put it within your Zshell RC file. And if we take a look, you'll see that I've done that very thing. Export path equals my standard local bin, but then also 
my composer bin directory. And that's it. So now if you open a new tab, you should be able to type Laravel and you're all set to go. Let's create a new project, Laravel new blog. You'll see all of these composer dependencies being installed and it's ready. So if I CD into the blog and then open this within my editor of choice, which is Sublime, there we go. We have a fresh installation of Laravel. However, one final note before we finish up. Switch back to the terminal and run PHP Artisan. This is Laravel's command line utility. And you're gonna see lots of different commands that I'll teach you all about. Anyhow, if we scroll to the top, we can see that the dash V option will spit out the application version. So if I run PHP Artisan dash V, I'm gonna get 5.3.29 at the time of this recording. And that's because as I'm preparing this series, 5.4 is exactly one week away from being launched. So I'm gonna go back, remove the blog, and instead do Laravel new blog, but I will add this dev flag. This is my way of saying I want to install the development branch. And again, at the time of this recording, the development branch is 5.4. For you, it very well could be 5.5. So make sure you check what the official release of Laravel is as you're watching this. Let's do it again, PHP Artisan V, and there we go. Now I've installed Laravel 5.4, and we're all set to go.